What's up, everybody? It's Lexi D here. Welcome back to Something to Consider. In this episode, I wanted to talk about the thief of joy, comparison. She has shown up recently in my life and she has left me feeling like I'm missing out, left me feeling like I'm behind. But when I take a step back, I'm like, who am I behind? <laughs> like, This is my life. And the, the only person I have to compare myself to is me. Everyone else is a support actor. I'm the main character of my life. <laughs> like, what am I allowing myself? Why am I allowing myself to compare myself to other people's highlight reel? So let me give some more context here. I am traveling to Turkey. And when I started thinking about, I started to think more about why I was traveling to Turkey. I don't know that I usually consciously think about why I'm going to a particular place, especially just all on my own. Usually I I maybe will when someone asks me, but I just get a desire and I go off of that. And it's usually enough I have a good time. I've actually been to 10 countries. And let me just also acknowledge that traveling is a privilege. I am very grateful to have the mindset, the resources, the time to do this, to travel. This is something that I am very grateful for and I find to be an investment in my life. And so with that, my last international trip that I took I found myself to start, I found myself starting to have these moments where I was like, why am I here? Am I actually really having a good time here? Why did I really decide to come here? And so those same questions started to come up for Turkey. Not while I'm on the trip, I'm not on the trip, but before going on the trip, These similar questions, these same similar questions of why am I going here? What is motivating me? I have followed quite a bit of travel content and travel bloggers, vloggers lately. I love travel content. I feel like it can be very inspirational and it can serve as a source of inspiration of where to travel to next, of places that I've never heard of, never considered, and really just open my eyes to these different places. And so on the one hand, while I can think of it as inspiration, I've started to see myself slipping into a place where I think of going to these places out of a sense of obligation. And it's such a weird feeling because There's no one holding me to the fire saying, girl, you got to go here. But there's become like this weird, invisible energy that's almost that feels like that, that feels like, nah, you got to go here. You got to do this next. And there's also been, I hate to say it, a little bit of competition, 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 (laughs) competition. There's a. There's also been a little bit of competition that goes on in my head sometimes when I will see vloggers or bloggers on Instagram and I'm like, oh, they went there. I got to go there or I got to go this place before they go there. What? I I don't (laughs) know. Y'all, even as I say it, I know it's crazy. And I'm grateful that I'm I've been starting to have this awareness because these trips ain't cheap. They're not cheap on my time or on on my money, on my pocket. It costs money to get on these flights, these long haul flights. It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of mental energy at times. I have to mentally prepare myself for a 13 hour flight to Turkey. And it is direct, which has its trade-offs. So (laughs) it's not all glitz and glamour. And I think that was one of the things that hit me the most on my last trip was the place that I went to, I had seen quite a bit of content that led me to believe that the city I went to was going to be lively and just more fun. And it just wasn't that for me. 
And sure, maybe I could have put in a little bit more effort to get myself involved, but I was disappointed. And that really started to drive me. I had a, I had a reminder of that feeling as I was thinking more about my plans for when I was going to be in Turkey. And so I started to make some shifts. I was initially going to go to Istanbul in Turkey. And instead I decided, you know what? The type of person I am, I like to go to the beach. I like to lay out. I like to just relax. I don't want to go to Istanbul. (laughs) I like, it doesn't do anything for me to see the architecture in Istanbul, to see the history in Istanbul. That's just not really my thing. The beaches are my thing. And so I changed my itinerary so that I could go somewhere where there's more beaches. And I thought that would be enough of an adjustment. But some more transparency here, as I've approached closer to this trip, I've almost considered calling it off entirely because I couldn't really find a compelling reason why I wanted to go. I could identify reasons that others may want to go, why it might entice somebody to go. But I'm like, do I really want to go? This place was never on my travel list. And like I said, these travel blogs that I've followed and just travel accounts, yes, it can serve as an inspiration. But this is where I'm talking about it's starting to feel like a coming from a place of obligation. And the other weird part about this whole obligation thing is that when you think about the average American, my guess is the average American has not traveled outside of the country. It's a small bubble of people who regularly travel outside the country. I'm one of those people in that small bubble. But because my Instagram feed and TikTok feed is full of people who do this on a regular basis, it's... It's normalized it, quote unquote, in a way for me such that I don't feel like I'm measuring up. And as I'm saying this, I'm having a reminder of, I go to a luxury gym. And at that luxury gym, there's a certain way that people look. And it pushes me and encourages me to look like my best version of myself. However, When I decided to go to a one-off class, when I went in that class and the demographic looked wildly different, I felt differently about myself. I was like, here I am almost picking myself apart, trying to get to this goal version of me, which I still have that goal. I still have that goal, but it did make me question a little bit how I get to that goal and just my mindset around getting to that goal. Because I saw people around me in this class who didn't look like the people that I'm used to seeing. And I was like, this is like such a mind bender for me. My reality, this comes as no surprise of like our reality is made up of the content that we consume, the music that we listen to, who we're around. And in these two instances, I found myself comparing myself subconsciously to the content that I was seeing and the people around me. And then when I would find myself in a different environment and got a chance to just to check in with just me, I'm like, yo, what is going on here? I'm really getting sucked up into this way of life that's not even mine. Going back to my initial thoughts on traveling to Turkey and planning to go to to Istanbul. And I'm just like, I don't want to do that. And there's nothing wrong with that. We all have our own preferences. Just like how earlier this year, I traveled to Houston, Texas for a workout class. And I kid you not, when I... (laughs) When people were asking me where I was from and I was telling them LA and they were like, you traveled out here for this? I want to come out there. And so even that was a reminder of just, we all have different interests. We all have different ways of moving about in this life. And 
this experience of questioning why in this case I'm going to Turkey, I think has been a really good reminder of tapping into what matters for me. And sometimes what matters to me and for me is not going to be Instagram worthy. It's not going to be worthy of picking up my phone and recording it. Sometimes I just want to chill chill and watch Golden Girls. Now, people who follow me on Instagram will know sometimes that show is so funny. I do post a clip or two. <laughs> but me doing that, I'm not going to record myself watching that show. And this is not a knock to the people who do day in my life. I've considered doing day in, day in my life a day in my life TikTok, but I've felt different kinds of ways about it and at this point have decided not to. But what it is to say is that recently I feel like I've been tuning back into myself. While I have enjoyed the countries I've traveled to, having that moment I did at the last one where I really started to question, is this what I want? I think is so important and not just, I hope that this is being conveyed well, that it's not important in just traveling. It's important in so many arenas of our lives is looking at our source of desire. And yes, sometimes it's enough to just say, I want to do this. But also, I think it can be beneficial sometimes to take it a step further to ask why. And so something to consider is just that. If you're desiring something and then you do it and you find that you're not quite fulfilled, consider asking yourself, what are the motivations? What are the drivers? Why do you actually want to do this? Has your mind changed around this? Is there something that you need to change so that you can enjoy whatever the thing is again? Because I'm finding with myself that unless it's something that sparks within me that I want to do, it really is not something that is perhaps worth it for me. And that's okay. If it means that I travel to less countries, but I spend more time doing the things that I want to do and that I desire, I think that's a life well spent. So with that, I want to thank you all for listening and I'll talk to you all. I was going to say speak. I hate when I do that sometimes. I combine words and then I end up stuttering. (laughs) Thanks for listening. I will talk to you all in my next one.